I'm going to show you how to make a Turkish Turk's head knot. And um, in my little research, I found that each of these little bumps is called a bite. And so this is a five bite Turkish, I'm sorry, Turk head knot. And this is a flat one. Sometimes they're made, they can be used as um, like napkin rings or you can use them as a bracelet, but this is gonna be a flat one for a trivet or a coaster. So if you'll notice on my diagram here, um, I've shown you, and this is the way I had to learn, um, the red one going around is the first pass, and then the purple is the second pass, and then the green, let's see, is the third pass, okay? And that's it, then you need three passes to get the outline, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna fill in a total, uh, three more times, so you have a total of four times around. Um, I've also on this, and you'll be, you can download this on my website, but I've also kind of showed where you're gonna go under and over just for my, this was for my benefit, but I thought it would be helpful to you too. The other thing I've done is I've got two pieces of thin cardboard that I've got mounted on a, just like a foam pad. And I've just drew a circle. I want my, this knot to be about six inches in diameter. So this is a six inch circle, the outer one. Um, and I've just placed uh, pins, push pins, approximately equidistance, five of them all, all the way around for the five little bites. Um, and this inner circle is for the, co the coaster. The outs outer one's for the trivet, the inner one's for the coaster. So right now we're going to do the trivet. So to start with, um, and the other thing I do just is my rope, I always tie off, put tape on both ends so it doesn't unravel. Okay. So I'm going to start and I'm looking at this. And so, um, so here, here's how I start. I just kind of get that in there and go around and um, just, there you go. And so right now, so this is on my chart, this first pass is the red and this second pass coming around is the purple. So you can see here on my purple, I'm going over the red, okay, over the red again, and then I'm gonna curve around. And at this point, I'm going over this red, but I'm, gonna, I'm under this red where the end is. So that's really easy because I just picked that one up. All right. So now I'm on the green. This is the third pass around. So on the green, I'm starting here, but here I have to come under this red. All right. So this is where kind of the fun starts. And with your trivet, you have more rope, obviously. So it's just, you just have to kind of hold on to stuff. One thing I do find helpful is to use your extra pins and pin down that first go around. Um, just to kind of keep it in place. Once again, I am not a formal knot maker. So this is just the way I have found to make it work for me. All right. So um, I'm going to go under this red right here, which is right here. Um, and then you can see I'm going, so as I go under that red, I'm going, this green one goes over that purple. And here, this is the purple. So I'm going over that purple and it's just a matter of pulling your rope through. And that's why nailing these down with a, um, with thumbtacks really helps. And then, you know, you don't want to pull it too tight because you need that, that bite in there. That's this green bite. Okay. So leave that there. Um, and then I'm, let's see, I forgot where I was there. So I'm, I've got it over that purple. Then here's the red. So I'm going under the green goes under this red. So this is the red one. So once again, it's just a matter of holding everything down and pulling your long rope through. And then I'm coming down here, okay? And I have to go under the red, right here. Now it's just a matter of looking, and so I know that that first one was my red, so it's this one. So I'm going, wait a minute, I've got myself confused. I'm going under this red, this is the purple. Purple. So I'm going under this red. Okay. So that's that is your first go around. So once you get that through, that's the outline of your Turk head knot. And at this point, you can get your nail everything down, kind of you know place it the way you want it to be placed. All right. Then 
we're going to start in this once you've got this done this was the hardest part no doubt then what you're going to do is just follow all right so i'm going back to where i started this once again this is easy you're just following this along but you do want to make sure you keep everything as snug as possible and that's where once again the second um thumbtacks come in handy just tack it in there okay just follow along what you did before under over under, over, and just snugging up the, the second strand when it, when it comes to the edges of, you know, all the way along. Um, So once again, I'm just following along. You're going to go through, you're going to have a total of four times around. So I'm on the second time around and I'm just following along. Making sure everything's snug. So I'm just going to go along here and make sure that this is all snugged up. This one over here is looking a little big, so I'm going to move. Got my Glenn Campbell playing in the background. What's wrong with that? Nothing. And so now I'm on the third time going around.
now I'm starting the fourth time around. And it's a little snugger here. And actually, at this point, you could, if you wanted to, um, pick it up and work on it. I'm just going to keep it on my mat here, just so it's easier for you to see. And I just screwed up there. If you, ha if you have stiffer cotton rope, um, the stiffer the rope, the better for it to hold its shape. Um, my rope is, is a good stiffness um, in the perfect world. I think I would have it a little stiffer. Uh, it's a little floppier than I would like. So what you can do, which I, I do on these trivets, uh, you don't have to on the coasters, is I go in after the fact and just run a, just a real, very simple stitch through these bites on the end to kind of hold them together. And it's bite is B-I-G-H-T, if you're looking it up. last little thing here and there you go there is your five bite turk head coaster about six inches around um, you should get those uh, and then I'll show you in the next video how to stitch these off how to tie this off but there you go